cage is done. <laughs> oh man, we we took it so seriously back then. <laughs> Mr. McPherson. Hello. Mr. Sterling. Mr. McPherson, I know that I'm getting straight to the point, but we have a job for you. What is it? A highly confidential job. What is it? I need to know if you'll do it before I can tell you anything. What is it? A highly confidential job. What if I don't want the job? What if I told you that that's how much you'll be paid? Why does it pay so much? You're not the first person we've asked. Well, I guess I'll take the job then. Good. So, what is it? I'll fill you in. There's a remote island down south. Just a town. In the inn. Someone was killed a few days ago. No one knows what happened. Oh, and there's something else. Someone's gone missing, too. Who? His name is Hayden Blake. So, what do you want me to do? I want you to go to the island and take a look around. See what you can find out. All right. What's going on? Any suspects? Any information you can get? All right. As I said, this is a confidential job. All right. You can't tell anyone off the island what you're doing. This could be more than it seems. All right. We have some things for you to bring, just in case. I don't know what we're sending you into here. This could be dangerous. So you could be sending me blind into a possible death trap. I hope not. You ready for this, Mr. McPherson? I don't know what to expect. The worst. Once you get to the island, just get to the road. Someone will meet you and bring you to the inn. The ship you're taking will drop you off a quarter mile away. What for? As I said, we don't know what we're sending you into. You ready for this, Mr. McPherson? I don't know. Don't know what to expect. The worst. Once you get to the island, just get to the road. Someone will meet you there and bring you to the inn. The ship you're going on will drop you off a quarter mile away. What for? As I said, we don't know what we're sending you into. I assume you're checking in? Yeah. Mr... McPherson. Ah, yes. Will you be needing anything else? You didn't ask me how long I'll be staying. Ah, uh, well, we'll get to that later. So what are you doing here? I heard about the murder. I was sent here to investigate. Ah, well, I guess you didn't hear about the second one. What? 
They found someone else dead just this morning. What do you know about it? Not much. We all have our suspicions. Like what? Oh, it's probably not worth saying. You shouldn't have come here. Wait, why not? We're all trapped here. What are you talking about? Each of the people, the ones we find dead, they're all trying to get off the island. But then someone, something, stopped them. You probably don't believe me. For now. We have ideas, but no solid proof. This place, it's not a normal island, is it? Well, we call it the cage. You can sleep here tonight. Well, I, I guess I should tell you that, well, we do suspect that something's going on here. Right. With the way things have been going, with the murders, it's possible someone could die tonight. Are you saying I might not wake up tomorrow? It's possible, but I wouldn't worry about it. Well, sweet dreams. Welcome, Mr. McPherson. Welcome to the cage. You aren't afraid, I know. But you haven't seen what my assassins can do. You'll be afraid then, Mr. McPherson. Once you know the terror of what they do, you will fear them. You'll see. They're scared. They don't want a chance getting off the island, thinking that they might die in the attempt. And there was something else as well. Oh? Someone left on a note on that table over there. Oh, what did it say? Basically all that you've heard, that if anyone tried to leave the island, they wouldn't make it alive. The people here, well, they don't quite believe it yet, but so far it's been true. But they still say they're trapped here. Even if we're not really trapped here, it still seems like we're all stuck in a cage, cage of, cage, cage, cage of, cage, cage of, cage of fear. Yeah. So, are you gonna go search the island with the others? I think so. You? I can't. I'm the innkeeper here, remember? Mr. McPherson, isn't it? Yeah, you can call me Jade. I'm Lyle Klobe. Are you going to explore the island? Yeah. Mind if I join you? No, I suppose it's safer that way. What was that? John, I saw the light again. I think someone else is on the island. Another murderer? No. I think he helped me. Good morning. Yes, it is. This is a nice gun. You think it'll work on those vampires? Maybe. What are you doing? No! So, 
When are you going to act? Soon. Well, why not now? I have my reasons. Okay, I guess. But can I ask you how you fought the vampires? You can ask, but... What was that? Is he alive? No. Are you going to do something? I mean, how many people have died now? Jared. We'll get some of the others. We should move him. Fine. <laughs> well, Mr. McPherson, what now? Do you fear them now? So, McPherson, I think you have everything figured out, don't you? Well, I don't. You seem not to fear the vampires anymore. It's because Mr. Blake isn't. Well, you can still experience loss. You can still feel the tears fall when you find someone you love is gone. But it's even worse when you think they've gone a little mad. Party time, 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 party time. It's a lovely I mean, we, we don't need to be there too early in the morning, right? How can you stand this, John? How can I stand being trapped here in this cage, cut off from the rest of the world? Yeah. <laughs> well, I really can't, I guess. John, uh, I've been having these dreams. Dreams? Yeah. Everyone thinks their dreams are interesting. Nobody else cares. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to take a walk. Be careful. Hayden. Hayden, open up. Hayden, it's John. He's been bitten or something. Where is he? He was right there. Where'd he go? He must have been taken or something. Is he dead? Maybe. The rain's let up. It's time. The cage must end. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Are you wanting to close the door? Sorry. Mr. McPherson, you are the first of the condemned to live. My vampire was going to kill you, but this person here, he saved you more than once it would seem. Mr. Vales, your reign of bloodshed and terror has gone on for too long. I've come to destroy this cage. Oh, so you have?
So, Mr. McPherson, did you really think this man could save you? That he could save you from all of this? Huh? You have to ask yourself, is what you know real? Is it all really reality? Are you blindly giving your life to something that is worthless in the end? Trapping yourself in a cage? Are you following what you want to be true? What do you believe? Hayden can still save us. Slower. Hayden can still save us. Foolish, Mr. McPherson. Hayden is going to die. I'm going to kill him myself. I have checkmate, which means there's nothing you can do. No! What was that? He has grass in his mouth. I knew, I knew that Ivan would be at his weakest when he was confident beyond the shadow of a doubt that he, he had won. Now there's no one to control the vampires. Now they're not a threat. <laughs> Why did you have to sacrifice yourself? I don't know. I knew it had to be done. It was the only way. You saved us. Ah!